once you have a custom drag curve, you've put that in, you've loaded everything in, do you really have to true? Um, and that's a good question. Our job, our objective at Applied Ballistics is to basically do the truing on the ballistics before you get it. Um, but now, having said that, the user is still responsible for inputting a muzzle velocity, right? So the truing, the only real truing that we anticipate the user to do is on the muzzle velocity. So once you true the muzzle velocity, if you don't have a good chronograph, the benefit of the custom drag model is that you should not have to true it beyond that. Now, because of subtleties in rifles and how they shoot bullets and bullet lot variances and all those things, there is a way to true the solution beyond your initial muzzle velocity calibration but we found with the custom drag models that's often not necessary or is only needed to a very limited degree whereas some other solvers you they aren't accurate at all until you true them at many points and that's where that's where we take a very different position we're not happy with giving you a tool that you have to massage into shape mm -hmm. we want to give you a tool that if you give it a couple key pieces of accurate information, you'll hit your target on the first shot. That's what we're all about, is getting the first rounds on target. So typically with the Cal DSF, a lot of times when people use a custom curve and they get out to Cal and they've already trued their muzzle velocity under Cal MV, mm -hmm. when they go out to Cal DSF, it's more of a confirmation than an actual mm -hmm. adjustment. Yeah, it's, it's still... There, there's nothing better to do with long range shooting than to verify. Verify your zero, verify your true, verify your calibrations, and that's really good. If, you, if a shooter goes and finds that, all right, I'm gonna cal my DSF now, and there's nothing there to calibrate, well, it was still worth doing because you verified that your solution is good, so it's good practice.